All right, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Can you believe it? We're in week seven. So we've got one more regular week and then the following week is end of the quarter. So we are coming up really quick on the end of the quarter, all right? You're gonna wanna have um, Canvas open, all right? And um, we're gonna be in week seven this week. So just a couple of things. Hopefully you took advantage of last week. Hopefully you took advantage of um, the late window, okay? Getting things done. Um, remember, I opened up a bunch of stuff, okay? So at this point, what's open uh, week five and six? Okay, so week five and six. Oh. That should say week six panorama survey take and screenshot. Right. Okay. And then what's still open. So that was due um, last Friday. Okay. Which was um, the 15th and then open till this Friday is week five. Okay. Is week five. So, so make sure that you're getting those late assignments in. Okay. Cause we are closing up here real quick. We've got like one more reg this week, next week, and then grades are going to be due. We're going to be on week seven. So let's just take a look at the week. We're going to be working on exact path. Okay, exact path. So we're going to look at what is exact path um, and stuff. How does it work? And um, and what we use this program for. All right. So I'm going to go to week seven. Just a second. I got to put my puppy outside. She's being a goober and making a lot of noise this morning. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, so give me a thumbs up when you are in Canvas and you have week seven open. You wanna see the puppy? How about end of class? She's being she's being a goober right now. So I put her outside. She's she's being normally she just lays down and takes a nap, but right before class she was like like biting at stuff, and I was like, all right, you gotta go in your crate. And she started whining. It's like, oh. So I was like, I tried. I tried. <laughs> so yeah, if we got time to end the class, I'll show you for sure tomorrow. Okay, she's being <laughs> on my last nerve this morning. <laughs> so, okay. So we are gonna be in week five, okay? Or sorry, week seven, all right? And we're gonna be looking at exact path, all right? So this is something that you're gonna work on uh, for this week, okay? So exact path is a new program that the district is using this year. And it's a program where you're gonna complete lessons in math and in reading, okay? And the goal is to help students um, improve upon skills they already have and then better skills maybe that they're they're struggling with, okay? It's an individually tracked program, okay? So not everyone does the same, all right? You take a diagnostic test to kind of see where you at and then the lessons are based on your ability level and your progression level, okay? So we're gonna work on finding that program and getting started on that today. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to open Clever, okay? You're gonna need to open up Clever because this is how we'll access it. So I'm gonna show you how to mark it so that you can find it every time we use it. So go ahead and go and get into Clever, please. Log into Clever. So open up a different tab and you're gonna log into Clever. Give me a thumbs up once you have Clever open. Give me a thumbs up once you have Clever open. So remember, this is the program where you access all, you can access Canvas, you access Infinity Camp, you can access all these different, you know, apps or programs, right, that the district uses. Okay, so Clever is kind of the platform that houses all of them. Okay, so you might be on like your page and it's got like all your ones that you have like, you know, 
check mark your favorite. So what we want to do first is we want to check mark this program, all right, so that you can readily find it, okay? Because a lot of weeks then you'll be working in this program, okay? So we want to make sure that we have it marked so it's easy to get to. So you're going to go to district pages and they're listed in alphabetical order and you're looking for Ed Mutum, okay? Ed Mutum, this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the heart, okay? So you click on the heart and then once you do that, it'll put it on your shortlist page, okay? So that you don't have to go search for it every time. So you want to go to district pages and then you want to click on the heart. It is required. Um, I have no choice in this. <laughs> so I am sorry. I have no choice in this. You go at your own pace. The goal is to get one done a week and stuff. And there, You should have plenty of time in class. Okay, so this really shouldn't be something that you have to do outside of class. So it's being rolled out by the district for all, like all levels are doing it. So all schools are doing it. Okay, so give me a thumbs up once you found it and you put a heart on it. So, and it's that Edmudum right here. Okay, there um, and stuff that you can see here. I'll go back over to it. Okay, anybody need, so you see, you just click it, you know, once it's done. And you can do that for any program that you use. Um, it's really nice because then you don't have to go search for it every time. So if you see any other programs, you're like, oh, I use that often, like click it. And then that makes it a lot easier to get to it. Okay, but we want to make sure that this is them. Okay, so then what you're going to do is we are going to launch that program. So once you have it, okay, then you're going to launch the program. Okay, now before we do that, I want to show you then um, really quick what you're going to do. Okay, so once you launch the program you're gonna it should prompt you if it's your first time using this program it should prompt you to take a diagnostic test and that's just a fancy word for basically saying a placement test figuring out kind of where are you at okay and then it assigns the lessons based on your your skill level your need level in math and in reading okay so let's watch this quick video and it's going to talk to you about exact path and the diagnostic test and how it works okay to exact path. Today, we're going to talk about your diagnostic test. You're going to learn what a diagnostic test is, what it looks like, how you complete a diagnostic test, and what the results mean for you and your learning path. Exact path works by creating a learning path of activities that are tailored just for you. But how does it know what should go into your learning path? That's where the diagnostic test comes in. A diagnostic test is a series of questions for you to answer. It's not a test that you can pass or fail. Instead, this test uses some fancy calculations to figure out what you already know about a subject and what you're ready to learn next. So you don't get a grade for this test and you are not expected to know the answers to all the questions. Some of the questions will feel easy to answer and others will feel pretty hard. When you answer a question correctly, the next question you see will be a little bit harder. When you answer a question incorrectly, the next question you see will be a little bit easier. The test does this to find exactly the right spot for you in your learning path. Not too easy, not too hard. So, how do you find your diagnostic test? Once you log in to ExactPath, you will be taken to your homepage. Your homepage shows all the activities you are currently working on. When your teacher has scheduled a diagnostic test for you, it will automatically appear as a tile on your homepage. Here's our math diagnostic. Okay, let's pause for a second. Let's go ahead and go ahead and log into Exact Path. All right, get to this homepage and tell me if you see your diagnostic tests, your math diagnostic and your reading diagnostic.
yeah, it should say like learning path, something to that extent. And then do you see some kind of diagnostic test? It just says learning path. Okay, go ahead, try clicking on the learning path. What does it do? It has a lesson. Okay, so it looks like, because in some cases, the math or reading teachers have already assigned that. So some of you might have a diagnostic test. Some of you, there might already be a lesson. Okay, do you see one for reading and for math? Okay, so what is your showing? Okay, so put in the chat for me, is it showing diagnostic or, because I'm new to this as well, and they didn't, I'll be honest with you, they didn't give me, it says you have no enrollments. Okay. Jesus, let me see if I see you in here. Okay, here's what I'm showing. Let's see here, justice. You see both math and reading? Okay, so if you see your diagnostics, you can start. Okay, I'm gonna do, mine says learning path. Okay, you can do the learning path. Yeah, go ahead and share your screen, Zoe. Go ahead and share your screen. I said, today's a little bit of troubleshooting. It just shows me what you're enrolled in um, and stuff because I have teacher view, so it's sometimes student view is gonna be a little bit different. Go ahead and show me. Justice, try clicking on the math and the reading. Is it not showing anything? Okay, current skill. So it looks like it's been assigned. Okay, so can you click on it and will it let you start? Okay, so you play the lesson. So try clicking on the lesson. Or press play. Yeah, see what it does. Okay, Justice, give me one second. Okay, so it looks like then it's gonna take you through different slides, right? You go through each one to complete the lesson. And the goal is to do one reading and one math lesson a week. Okay, does anyone showing diagnostics or is everyone else, Justice, we'll look at yours here in just a second. Is everyone else's just, is it already showing it's assigned? Give me a thumbs up if it's already showing it's assigned. Thumbs down if it's showing diagnostic. And then Justice, I'm gonna have you share your screen here in just a second. Okay, so it's already showing assigned. Okay, so then you go ahead and get started. You're gonna work on the math and then you're gonna work on the reading. And the goal is to start it today and then you work on it tomorrow. And then once you're done, here we'll finish watching. Once you are done, with both, then you complete, you submit in Canvas that you've completed it, okay? So it says once both skills are completed, you've done one math, one reading, okay? You click the start assignment, all right? And then you just type in, I have completed one reading and one math, and you submit it, okay? At the end of the week, I go and I double check that. If you did one of each, then you get full credit. So I don't go and grade it or do anything like that. It's just tracking that you did in fact complete one of each. Okay. 
Oh, you were in the wrong one, like the wrong program or? Okay, okay. So anyone who's just joining, we are in Clever. Let me see if I can get, let me share my screen. We're in Clever. Let me share my screen. Okay, we are in Clever, all right? We went to the district pages. So you gotta log into Clever, district pages. First thing you're going to do is add Edmutum, which is going to be the exact path program to your favorite. So you, you heart it. Okay. And that way, when you go to your pages, it's right there. And then you're going to launch it. Okay. You're going to launch it. Now, when you, from your end, it's going to look different than mine. Okay. Once you're in there, you want to click on your profile. And it sounds like you don't have diagnostic tests. This is like, this is part of the frustration of when we start new things. So diagnostics, unauthorized, see it doesn't even let me, see it doesn't even let me do it. Okay, so it lists like my class here, okay? And you're gonna click on your profile and then you're gonna start that math and that reading. So it looks something like this. You click on your profile and you should have math and reading and you're gonna start the lesson, okay? It sounds like neither, none of you have a diagnostic, correct? Okay, so what you're gonna work on for today and then we'll continue this tomorrow is you're gonna work on a math and you're gonna work on a reading, okay? You just do the best you can, okay? It's not about, you know, it's a, I mean, you wanna do the best you can, so don't just, you know, randomly click through it and stuff like that because you would like it to accurately um, grade and judge your ability level, okay? And then once you've done both, so you can work on it today and then we'll go over these instructions again, you'll work on it tomorrow. Once you're done, then you go into Canvas for this week, okay, to the exact path assignment and you submit that you completed it. Okay, so you basically just say, I have uh, done one reading, one math skill, and you submit it. That prompts me when I go to grade it to go check exact path to make sure that you did complete one for this week. Okay, Justice, how are you doing? Did you find where you need to be for math and reading? Or do you need to go back? Or anyone having issues, need help, troubleshooting? Okay, awesome. Okay, so give me a thumbs up if you've started either the math or the reading. Anyone need assistance? Yeah, so once you log in, this is what it should look like. Sounds like there is no diagnostic and stuff, so you are going to just start with the lesson that's assigned. Okay, and the goal is one math, one reading. Okay, so we'll sit in here. We're in here till 9.40, so we, we will, I'll let you go a few minutes early, but um, work another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll pick up here tomorrow, and then you'll have the period to get this done. There should be enough time in class, that's the goal, um, and stuff, so you don't have to do this independently. Okay, let me know if you have questions. Thank you for your patience. Like I said, when it's new, they literally just sent us a PowerPoint and said, go over this. So <laughs> that's literally, yep. Gotta love it. So, um, and stuff. So yeah, so sometimes it's a little bit of troubleshooting at first. Anyone having any issues or have questions? Okay, so we'll work about 10 minutes. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Zoe, for, uh, for sharing your screen and stuff like that. Yeah, because sometimes like with these new ones, it's hard because I can't see what you see, you know? So it makes it difficult. So I appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll work about 10 minutes and then we'll wrap up class for the day.
Yes, Gina. Are we doing the figurative language exact path or the math? So you're supposed to do one for reading and one for math. So the figurative language, is that your reading one? No. Okay, because it should show, you should have like, I mean, it won't say diagnostic, I guess, but you should have a math and then reading. So Yeah, I, I have it. Okay, so just do the math and the reading. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll wrap up class. So pause where you're at, okay? And then we're gonna pick up here tomorrow morning, okay? Um, how did we do? Did we get a math one done or did we get like halfway through? Like put it in the chat, let me know how pacing wise, um, how far are you getting? Halfway through the math? Okay, so tomorrow we'd pick up, finish math. Okay, that's great. So that'll give time tomorrow. You can finish math, you can do the reading, you should be able to get it done during class. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's great. So just pause there. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. Okay, so we'll log back in. You can work through your math and then you'll do the reading. Okay, and then once you've completed one of each, okay, for the week, then you'll just submit that you did it. You can just say, I have completed one math, one reading, and then that'll prompt me to go look and give you credit for it. Okay. Okay. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for your patience with today and stuff, starting so new stuff. This, we don't write this curriculum and stuff. So sometimes there's errors or just trying to kind of figure out what they're, what they're doing um, and stuff. So go ahead and log out. Okay. Um, I will see you tomorrow and we'll pick up right here where we left off. Yeah. When you're done, um, you submit it. Yes. Yeah, submit it later when you're done. Okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. We'll pick up where we left off uh, tomorrow, finish the math and then do reading or you could do reading math. I don't care which, uh, which order. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you so much.